OpenAI has cancelled GPT-5. But Google has announced the development of the next generation of artificial intelligence, which is going to change the world. Elon Musk has found a recipe for an AI that allegedly will not threaten humanity. The fate of Starship's next flight is still undecided. And scientists have trained a network of nanowires to imitate the abilities of a living brain. This, as well as new robots, RoboDog superpowers and other high-tech use, all in one video. Hi everyone, my name is David and I'm the new host of Robots. Now, in the comments under the last video, some of you were debating whether or not I was a real person or the next generation of artificial intelligence. Now, I can settle that debate right now. I am absolutely, mostly, a real living person. But to prove it, I will answer any of your touring questions in the comments. So do your best. GPT-5 is not going to happen. So amongst other news, this was announced by the head of OpenAI, Sam Altman, in his speech at MIT's The Future of Business with AI conference. As of now, the company has no plans to continue this project. According to Altman, the era of large language models is ending. And the strategy which led to the success of ChatGPT has exhausted itself. He also added that for economic reasons, further progress in the field of artificial intelligence development won't depend on the size and training speed of generative models. Now, experts believe that these economic reasons include the enormous amounts of cash needed to maintain and train ChatGPT. This amount is already too high as it is, and it's simply not paying off. The next breakthrough is going to have to come in a different form. Which form that is, nobody knows. But according to the head of OpenAI, it could be a new model architecture, increased data efficiency, or progress in algorithmic methods. But whatever the case, it seems that the era of boundless data banks and impossibly large models, despite the success that this has brought to the AI industry over the last 10 years, is finally coming to an end. Fortunately, GPT-4 is still being finalized and we will definitely get a new and improved version. Now Google seems to be planning either to jump on the departing bandwagon of GPT analogs or make the breakthrough Altman predicts. Now, to achieve this, Google is merging two of its AI labs, Google Brain and DeepMind. It's going to call it, you guessed it, Google DeepMind. According to the current head of Google, Sundar Pichai, this company is going to develop revolutionary next-gen AI products that will change the world. At the same time, the CEO promised that they would be ethical. According to some reports, engineers are already working on Gemini, which is generative AI software, which is intended to rival OpenAI. Now, if you remember back in March, Google granted early access to its AI-powered chatbot Bard, which even the company's employees called a pathological liar and urged management to abandon the project. Well, time will show us what the company has to introduce in the near future. At the same time, Elon Musk has entered the GPT race. As the saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them, or buy them in the case of Twitter. Now, Musk actually gave an interview recently where he described how he's going to develop AI, which apparently will avoid the destruction of humanity. Now, according to Musk, only an artificial superintelligence with a craving for infinite knowledge can simply observe humans, take an interest in them, without doing any harm. The entrepreneur is going to create Truth GPT, an AI focused on the search for truth that will try to understand the universe. According to him, TruthGPT could be a pioneer for OpenAI to follow. Now, we already know that Musk previously purchased 10,000 GPUs to train generative neural networks, and he started a new company, XAI. Apparently, he's found someone to head his new project too. That person is Igor Babushkin, who has previously worked twice with DeepMind as a senior researcher, and in between those periods, he was hired by OpenAI. Now on to other news. US authorities have banned any further Starship launches, at least until SpaceX completes its investigation into the explosion that happened during the first launch. The fully assembled 120 meter Starship was able to take off and reached an altitude of about 40 kilometers. But then the launch took a strange turn. The first stage failed to separate and the rocket went into an uncontrolled tumble, which ended with an explosion. Starship engineers claim that they blew the rocket up deliberately when they realized they'd lost control of the engines. 
but no one expected that the concrete structures of the launch complex wouldn't endure the standard workload. As a result, the launch pad was destroyed. Concrete shrapnel ended up on the territory of neighboring facilities. Debris and rubble rained down on Port Isabel, a city 10 kilometers away from the launch site. Both the environment and residential areas far beyond the area designated by the SpaceX flight clearance were affected. Although Elon Musk said that they're going to be able to fix all the rocket deficiencies and restore the launch pad within one or two months, getting a new permit is probably going to take a lot longer. An FAA representative said that SpaceX would have to get a new permit by convincing the regulator that any system, process or procedure related to the mishap does not affect public safety. It may take an awful long time to prove that. So next we have an international team of scientists led by the University of Sydney, who have proven that nanowire robots are capable of learning and remembering just like biological brains. The networks demonstrated both short-term and long-term memory. The experiment proved that complex cognitive processes, which are traditionally associated with brain activity, can be embedded in a non-biological model. Nanowire networks are a type of nanotechnology. They're usually made of tiny silver wires coated in a plastic material, connected to each other in the form of a mesh. These wires mimic the network-like structure of the human brain. Clearly, many scientists believe that progress in this field could seriously advance robotics, giving robots the ability to, for example, make quick decisions in unpredictable circumstances. A team of engineers from Carnegie Mellon University's Robotics Institute has come up with a way for quadruped robots to walk narrow paths. The researchers installed two reaction wheel actuators, also called RWAs, on the back of a unitary A1 Robodog. Now, interestingly, these RWAs are commonly used to adjust the angular momentum of satellites. One of the RWAs controls the bot's pitch axis, and the other controls its list angle. Both are contained in a single module of about 4 kilograms. So when the robot's leg is on the beam, the pair of RWAs automatically compensates for any changes in the center of gravity. The laboratory tests showed that the robot was able not only to walk about 3 meters on a 6 centimeter wide wooden beam, but it also resisted attempts to push it off. Moreover, when falling upside down from a height of about half a meter, the robot was even able to flip in the air and land on its feet like a cat. Engineers at MIT have prepared a study for the 2023 International Conference on Robotics and Automation, which we'll definitely tell you about in a separate video. The scientists taught a quadruped robot how to dribble a football cross-country. That's a soccer ball to those Americans watching. Now, this is a really impressive achievement, as anyone who has tried to do it themselves will know. The Dribblebot is a unitary Go1 robot that has undergone intensive training with reinforcement in simulation. The robot uses built-in sensors and calculations to show real dribbling, specifically controlling leg swings to apply targeted force as it moves, balances and navigates with respect to the ball. Now, it isn't that easy, for a robot. For the same conference, researchers at the University of Zurich prepared their own report. They taught the Animal C robot to catch a ball. This means that the robot can see, think and react very quickly. Instead of the usual cameras, this robot was equipped with event cameras, which are capable of almost instantaneous motion detection. This reduced the perceptual delay so much that the robot was able to track the ball and locate the precise spot to catch it. The ball was thrown from a distance of 4 meters and was flying at about 50 meters per second. Engineers from the University of Arizona have unveiled a new drone that won't fall down or break when it collides with an obstacle. This is an experimental quadcopter with an inflatable Sobar body. All of the internal electronics are standard, but the body is made of nylon fabric with polyurethane coating and can be inflated. Additionally, the drone is equipped with a bottom-mounted grip made of steel springs encased in an inflatable nylon sleeve. When the grip is pressed hard against an object, such as a branch, the springs automatically pop out and wrap around it, keeping the sew bar in place for as long as necessary. When the drone needs to take off, a built-in actuator inflates and stiffens the grippers, returning the encased springs to their original configuration. It only takes about three milliseconds to grip an object and less than three seconds to release it. DJI has introduced a new Mavic 3 Pro drone, complete with three cameras. The system consists of the main Hasselblad camera and two telephoto lenses. The Hasselblad camera can record 5.1K video up to 50 FPS, 
and could do slow motion at 120 fps in DCI 4K mode. A second 48MP camera with triple zoom can record 4K videos and take photos. Finally, the third camera with 7x zoom can record 4K videos at 60 fps. The drone, with a maximum flight time of 43 minutes, tracks obstacles in all directions with eight wide angle sensors. The pilot can switch on cruise control, set waypoints for the drone to autonomously create and navigate an itinerary, or choose from a variety of creative tricks. The new Mavic can automatically create a cinematic sequence and even add a soundtrack, or wirelessly transmit video to a smartphone for mobile editing. The drone will cost $2,199. This summer, an online supermarket will open in Japan. But here's the catch. Artificial intelligence will guide customers through the selection and ordering process, while robots will assemble orders at a fully autonomous warehouse complex. The Green Bean Supermarket is a project of Eon Group. According to its representatives, the site will feature over 50,000 products. The warehouses will be robotized by the British company Ocado Group. According to media reports, it'll take under six minutes to assemble an order that includes over 50 products. Consumers will be able to choose the time range of delivery. Artificial intelligence will select the best route. Humans obviously will be couriers, although it's not improbable that robots will claim this position in the future. NASA has decided to build several lunar bases instead of one as planned. It'll be part of the Artemis mission. However, NASA isn't going to build all the bases alone. It expects other agencies from Europe, Canada and Japan to join the project as well. The location of the main camp won't change. It's the Shackleton Crater at the lunar south pole. Now, this site was chosen because of the water ice in its shadowy zones. The base will be the center for moon landings and will include energy infrastructure, radiation protection, waste disposal facilities, and a landing pad for incoming crews. There will also be a lunar rover for astronauts to get around the moon and a habitable mobility platform that crews can use to visit other places on the moon for up to 45 days. So next up, Stanford University students have designed glasses which will help their owners ace any exam, date or job interview. So the way it works is this, the AR and AI powered Riz GPT analyzes the speech of the person who the user is speaking to and gives them hints in the form of facts and clever thoughts on the topic. The device is able to recognize faces and use the communication history with each person to create conversation models. Riz GPT connects to a web application on a smartphone via Bluetooth, which converts speech into text in real time using OpenAI's Whisper system. So based on the data obtained, the gadget offers possible answers to questions. All that's left to do is to make the glasses indistinguishable from real ones. And then hey presto, you don't have to think anymore. What do you think of that? ACM SIG CHI, an international community of students and professionals who study human-machine interaction, has presented the JIZ AI ARM system. It's a wearable unit with six terminals for detachable manipulators controlled by the user. Now, development details are still being kept secret, but we're looking forward to the release of this project. The most interesting part is how exactly a person should control six manipulators at the same time. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and stay tuned for more high-tech news.